Let's discuss. Hey everyone, it's Rachel back again with another video and today I'm very excited to check out a new track from Fit for an Autopsy called Hellions. This is taken from a split mini album. It's a split between Fit for an Autopsy, Thy Art is Murder, and Malvolence. So that will be out on April 7th. This is the first single to come from it and I am very stoked. Fit for an Autopsy was my absolute favorite album to come out of last year. It's still an album I'm jamming regularly. At the time I'm filming this, there's only like four days until I'm going Going to see them live which I'm really excited about uh, yeah just great this song will be played on that tour I believe so that's very exciting as well I will link the physical copies that you're able to pre-order I believe those are coming out in July even though the release itself comes out in April uh, but those will be in the description as well as all of the social media for fit for an autopsy and the link for the video I'll be using in the reaction portion of this video anyway I'm going to stop talking and we are gonna get straight into it Oh! That's a nice leap. Out of dark. Oh!
Fit for an Autopsy, Hellions, let's discuss. Another Fit for an Autopsy song to go directly on repeat for me. This one sounds like throwing it a little bit back in their discography. I think they've kept a lot of their sound fairly present throughout, but this has like that fast paced kind of relentless feel, Hellbound-ish, um, which I believe is the intention here. I am excited to hear the cover that they'll be doing also, but I'm always more excited for something original. From Fiffer and Autopsy, you have the breakdown to begin with, and then you have it brought back even slower. Uh, the structure of the song, I think, keeps up the energy that, like, is present throughout. Obviously, the structure does, otherwise the energy would not have been put up here. Anyway, <laughs> just too excited when there is new fit for an autopsy. Uh, having that kind of call out, God is your prison, release your demons, and then hearing it that second time, knowing that like something is coming back around that's the equivalent to the first breakdown, but most likely heavier. I feel like that is like a certain level of excitement. Uh, this has the speed and the riffs as well, because the drumming keeps that present with like the blast beats. Uh, a lot of the fills are just of that energy like this whole song is. It also displays Joe's range extremely well uh, at the same time as I feel like you know his mid type range it has always been very solid. Now you can hear the, his highs are some of my favorites I think and we're getting more and more of those as their discography progresses uh, but that is something that sticks out to me. You get a bit of guttural work here as well so uh, there is a lot to unpack for just one single off of this release that they're doing. Uh, if y'all have heard the depression sessions that's also uh, this type of release that they've done before. The bands were not the same that had the acacia strain on it but uh, this one does not. But yeah, <laughs> so at the same time as this is overall very fast paced, you still have like the more dissonant lead uh, that I had mentioned during, uh, it's most present I feel, like most noticeable during the ending of the track, uh, but it's, it's present there a couple of times and that's one of my favorite parts. I think some of the contrast there between that like, uh, you know, if it's not blast beats, then even still that like fast pace that this track has, uh, but also the space and the breakdown towards the end, that you get the space and then that snare hits, so it's uh, a good contrast, I think, to that, you know, that energy that's brought with it is the, the room for that groove, the slowdown, which I love, that's part of my favorite, but uh, in terms of more fast paced, you know, I don't know, overall tracks, I've talked a lot about like, liking more of the space it provides when you have stuff like blast beats like knowing what follows and stuff but when it comes to like keeping that overall i think fit for an autopsy is probably one of my favorites with it anyhow so you really can't go wrong <laughs> for my taste with what they've been doing or with what they did on or what the future holds with this style i'm just constantly excited to see what they do next and it's always something that i'm putting on the playlist to revisit over and over again but this will be no different yeah, so I will link the video that I used in this react or the reaction portion of this video in the description as well as all of Fit for an Autopsy social media, uh, any pre-orders that you can get for physical copies of the upcoming aggression sessions, which will be out on April 7th, but those physical copies again coming in July, I believe July 21st was what it said, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so all that information in the description, nothing that I would want different from this track, I think. Fit for an Autopsy is one of those bands that I give a 10 out of 10 for what they've been doing. Like, um, really on absolute hope, absolute hell onwards. Everything from there has been pretty much perfect for me. There's not skip on the albums, uh, stuff that I love to go through, live versions of things like that. So uh, just a very top tier band for me and my listening. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. I will get all that information in there. Other than that, you can also find my link tree, which will have the Patreon. I'm working constantly on the stuff for the tiers, updating the playlist, uh, have new stuff coming out for March uh, this month, all that sort of stuff. If you're interested in checking it out, that will be there, as well as the Discord server invite link, which is where the community is based for my YouTube channel. We've got a lot of really wonderful people in there. Music-related conversation, conversation unrelated to music as well. Just a lot going on, so if you're interested in coming and join, check that out. That will be there. As always, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it.